In this video I'm going to talk about the icon box element. This is one of my favorite uh, elements because it's very powerful and you can pretty much do a lot of things uh, with it. So to preview just go to elements, icon box and uh, you realize immediately what this element means. Basically you can have an image uh, or an uh, or an icon, an image icon, and you can also have an image actually, but uh, it's as, as a semantically uh, said, it's uh, dedicated for icons. So you can, uh, as you can see, you can uh, have a multi alignment settings. You can have it like this, floated, where the icon goes onto the left of the uh, onto the left of the element or right and you can have uh, multiple hover styles like circle shaped and square shaped so there is one uh, one other uh, feature of this uh, this uh, element but I'm going to explain later about it so for the moment I'm just going to edit this page with page builder and what's great about this page is that there are multiple examples here on uh, whether the element uses an image or an actual uh, font uh, icon font so first I'm going to talk about this one as you can see here um, the title we've set is uh, left aligned we have a description here uh, please uh, know that uh, this uh, description text also this uh, title text both support uh, HTML so if you want to do I don't know something custom you can safely do it um, you can choose uh, the link type whether you want a link wrapping the icon only the icon yeah you know these uh, these uh, options are uh, are uh, so various that we we had to add them uh, separately because some people wanted just the icon to be linked uh, some people wanted only the title to be linked uh, others wanted a separate uh, totally separate uh, button and some simply didn't care so they just wanted to have uh, their element linked and so on for example this uh, this option will link the uh, the icon only so if i add here a link i will just add this so understand as you can see I'm hovering and I could click the uh, pointer cursor is uh, is appearing so you can also have a call to link a call to action link you can choose the also the link here and as you can see I haven't provided a text so I'm just going to add a text as you can see the call to action uh, button so I'm just going to say no link usually this uh, this uh, element is used for features to present uh, some features with a uh, with the help of some uh, cool uh, icons and now moving forward you can see that uh, the icon type is set as image this mean you this means you can uh, select an image a PNG JPEG SVG or even a GIF or GIF and as you can see this is an, uh, an image and what I mean by this is that I could also choose a font icon which will give me a huge selection of uh, icons uh, the ones that are included the 
social uh, icons and the custom loaded uh, icon fonts now if you want to uh, if you want to load a custom uh, built uh, with icons just look at the video called uh, using the icon font uploader and you will find their explanations on how to add your own custom icons great so now back to the image uh, if you are in case you're wondering this is actually an SVG and why I choose uh, chosen the SVG is because um, it's vectorial it looks awesome on uh, retina displays and in my opinion uh, to uh, have a better presentation we had to uh, take advantage of this but you can also like I said you can simply provide the PNG and that's it or like I said just use the font icon uh, just to be clear I'm going to go to this one and as you can see here we have an icon selected if I chose for example I don't know this this icon no this icon <laughs> or this icon <laughs> it will uh, display here and the great and awesome um, awesome part of using uh, an icon is that you can uh, have more control over its size and it will automatically keep its ratio and it will remain vectorial and uh, won't pixelate itself like for an image so in this example uh, in the style options you can see we have an option called shaped background icon now you can choose whether you want a square with a hover effect or a circle or nothing as you can see nothing will uh, happen um, leaving it with a circle uh, with a hover you can change the icon color live which is a cool cool feature you can choose the background of the the icon and the hover color and and hover background color cool so now you can also choose the icon size you can make it as bigger as you want as you can see it's looseless it's it it looks awesome it looks really great nothing is pixelated and that's because uh, this is um, uh, a font so then we have the icon padding uh, this is strictly used for the uh, shaped uh, option as you can see I can make this as big as I want also increase the icon size this is great I mean uh, you can uh, you have a lot of freedom uh, a lot of uh, creative uh, freedom here so um, if you if you it, it all you know it's all uh, tied up to your imagination on what you want to do you can achieve a lot of uh, uh, great stuff with these uh, these uh, settings so then we have the box alignment you can choose the uh, alignment to be either right center or left you can um, you can change the uh, colors uh, scheme or theme for example if you want uh, if you have a dark background of course you would want to choose light because uh, you have want to have a contrast between uh, the uh, the text and the background or if you have uh, if you have a light background just choose uh, dark now you can also leave it 
on as a default because it will rely on the pages on uh, default sorry colors so then we have the floated style uh, this uh, this makes uh, some uh, this option isn't uh, live and that's because uh, there are some uh, some uh, markup HTML markup changes so it's not that uh, easy in case you're wondering uh, what's flo what floated means as you can see this is left aligned but this is floated meaning the icon is uh, more sided perhaps a better name would have been a side icon so yeah you can have a left floated or a right floated uh, icon so moving forward um, you can change the title settings meaning you can change everything the font the uh, sorry the font family the font size you can make it bigger or smaller the line height the font weight whether perhaps you want it bold the style perhaps you want it of course ita uh, italic and of course the color you might also want to of course this uh, these settings are also available for the description perhaps you want a bigger description and like i said uh, the description and title accepts uh, HTML code, so uh, it's good and uh, it's a, a doorway to a better uh, customization. And then we have the uh, title first option, which would will mean that if you want, you can have the title here onto the top and the icon uh, in the middle. By default, is disabled but who knows maybe you want it maybe you're not it's good to have this uh, option and last we have the uh, opacity of the icon perhaps you want it uh, you don't want it to be this uh, you want it of course you maybe wanted to have an opacity for it again it's not a very the very the most uh, important uh, option but it's good to have it okay so moving forward we have the hover stage options now these uh, these options right here are a bit more complex they're uh, for um, a combination with a with an element let me just show you but i will talk about it in a different video because uh, it's a totally different uh, uh, it's a totally different uh, element basically I can't remember this one yeah this one so these uh, yeah I know I've broken the the element I played too much with these settings so I'm just going to refresh it and open it yeah. I could just open any one but so yeah for the hover stage uh, options it's used by this part here for example this all these six right here are um, icon boxes as you can see they are left loaded with uh, icons and now when I hover these uh, these uh, icon boxes as you can see here these uh, bullets or points right here are animated so you have this stage kind of uh, uh, layout and these uh, features will just point uh, a dot a point to an image you specify now these options only work with the stage image element like I said uh, if you want to uh, read about this, uh, sorry to uh, see a video about this, look into the stage uh, element uh, video, and I will explain there how to use these uh, these two uh, elements in uh, this uh, stage combination. 
so uh, last we have uh, the appear options whether you want to have the uh, elements appear on um, on scrolling when they're inside the viewport for example as an entrance uh, effect if I choose yes I can also choose the uh, delay appearance let me just say this as you can see it kind of uh, uh, animated let me just view the and you can do this for any any element you you want so let me also create a um, uh, an icon box so I can complete this uh, tutorial I will first create a new column I'm going to resize it to five uh, columns and I'm going to add the icon box So let's just add some content, some title, just a description here. Then we have the title. Let's just add a wrapping link of the icon. The icon type, I will choose font icon because I have a huge library here. Let me just choose this one and I will go to the style options. I will save it because I want to see the changes. Uh, I want to the styles uh, live. So I can choose uh, whether I want it a circle with hover. I will choose a background. I will choose the color. Let me just say it's square. Yeah. The hover color. I will just no. I will make it still a white, and the the hover color should be uh, red. I'll make the icon a bit bigger. Also the padding. I will align them to the center. The color theme I will leave it as it is by default. No floated style here, and let me just play a bit with the uh, with the title settings. I'll make it a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. Great. We'll leave it like this and as you can see this is the icon box so if you have uh, any questions feel free to ask me and if you have uh, troubles with the elements simply subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one Bye.